Hey guys, welcome again to a new episode of the Tracer Touring series and today I'm going to talk about helmets. Um, I have decided to buy a new helmet and I'm going to explain why. But first let me show you the helmet I had so far and why I have decided to buy a new one. So this is my uh, helmet. Um, it's a Shoei GT Air. A GT of course stands for Grand Touring and it's supposed to be a touring helmet. It is a full face helmet. Um, it has, of course, um, let me show you here. It has a sun visor integrated so you can open and close. Um, it has cutouts for the speakers and I have a Cena. 20s communication with speakers inside and all of that so you can listen to music while you're riding that's all characteristics of a touring helmet but the touring helmets are typically flip up so you can also open the chin bar and this one you cannot it's a full face helmet there's no moving parts here i personally consider full face helmet much safer i mean not only in terms of structure it's there's no moving parts there's nothing that can break here if you crash but also um it, you don't have the tendency to ride with the chin bar open and if you crash with the chin bar open your whole front face is in danger. However, uh, I decided to buy a flip-up helmet or a modular helmet or a system helmet. There's many ways to call it and um, I went for, of course, the most expensive one. Um, not because it's the most expensive but it's uh, seen as the best. Um, and uh, one of the things that made me go to Schubert um, was uh, the fact that it's uh, the quietest helmet, uh, system helmet out there. So it's supposed to be very quiet and that's very important for me. So this is the Schubert, um, it's the C3 Pro, it's the latest model of uh, modular helmets. I selected this nice uh, dark matte color with some gray silver inserts and the red stripes that go together with my red tracer so I think it looks pretty cool it has some reflective bands in here and also in the back um, let me show you guys here it uh, it also has a sun visor like the showy also although the mechanism is in a different place and it's hard to film with now why is this ah there we go so it also has a sun visor like to show it. It's a pretty much uh, a must have on the touring helmets uh, because you'll be riding throughout the day and in some places it will be sunny, some other places it will not. So you don't want to keep putting on and off the glasses, sunglasses because you'll have to stop to do that. So you just use the visor and that's, uh, that's pretty cool. Um, the interior feels extremely good. It's, uh, it's by far the best interior I've tried. I've had mostly Arai and Shoei helmets and this one is just so nice inside. And of course it flips up, let me show you. So if you press the button down there, it will um, open up. This is not easy with one hand only. So as you can see the chin bar opens up. I guess uh, if you're familiar with modular helmets that's pretty standard. and. Um, and, and then you can have access uh, to the inside. So the reason why I chose um, to buy a modular helmet for this trip and upcoming trips is very simple. Um, with the full face helmet, and there's nothing wrong with this one, don't get me wrong, it's comfortable, it's safe, and it's a, it's a pretty good helmet to show it, but it's not open. And the reason why I want to open it is because I'll be stopping a lot of times. I wanna take pictures. Um, I want to go visit castles and museums and things like that and I will be taking the helmet on and off a lot uh, if I go with a full face helmet and what I'm hoping is that with a flip up helmet I can in some or many of those situations not take the helmet off but just open the chin bar and you know be clear so I can drink water I can take pictures I can look at the, the landscape without the helmet in there and the problem with taking the helmet on, uh, taking it off a lot of times is that because these are touring helmets, they are very 
snug around the neck. That's what makes them quiet. Uh, the problem with that is that when you're taking off, at least for me, they always hurt on the ears and you always have to insert your finger and put the ear back in place because it's flipped uh, on, the, uh, on the downside inside the helmet. So when I take the helmet on and off five, six times a day, um, it starts to really hurt. And I can expect on this trip to do it more often and then to do it for, for 10 days straight, it's going to be hell. I know that I'll be at the end of the trip and I can no longer think about taking the helmet off because it will hurt a lot. So I really hope that uh, <clears throat> I really hope that the modular helmet uh, will help me with that, and it will not uh, force me to take it on and off all the time. I could just I can just flip open and at least take pictures, drink water, and do some of those things, you know, when I'm ta when I'm stopping for a break, um, and then I'll flip it down uh, for riding. Um, so the Schubert is supposed to be very good. I wanted to give a shout out to the company or the, sh the, the, the shop where I bought it because they were fantastic. It was this um, shop called um, sportsbikeshop.co.uk. It's a British shop and they sent me this uh, sticker, born to ride, forced to drive. I guess this is to put on the car. I'm not going to put it. It's a huge sticker and it's yellow and, you know, but... Um, I looked for this color in uh, in the Netherlands and they don't have it. They say it's not available for the Benelux market. You know, it's again one of those things that I really don't understand. Why the hell is Schubert not selling this color in the Benelux market? Is there anything against this color in this market? It's, it just doesn't make sense. They produce it, they mass produce it, and why am I limited on my choices? I really don't understand. So I got the helmet from the UK because I really wanted this color. And um, this fantastic shop thrown, has thrown in um, a bag, a motorcycle bag that is uh, waterproof. I haven't even taken it out from the plastic, but it's a waterproof bag, uh, 50 liters from Oxford. And um, yeah, you just put it on the bike and you close it and you can carry whatever you need in there. They've thrown in for free. And it wasn't even advertised, so that's not the reason why I chose this uh, this particular shop. Uh, it just showed up in my uh, in my um, shopping cart when I was about to check out with the helmet. So I think it's pretty cool. I'm I'm not sure if I'm going to take this bag on this trip. It's big. It's supposed to go across the the back seat and uh, attach to the to the seat and the handlebars and things like that. Um, I don't think I will take it on this trip because I don't need so much space. But it's definitely uh, a good add-on uh, if I sometimes need space and I don't want to take um, uh, a top case. And I really don't like top cases. So I just wanted to show you guys uh, the new helmet that I'll be wearing um, um, on this trip to Scotland. I have ordered, in the meantime, a new uh, communication system. The problem is that this one um, that I have on the show uh, kind of holds in place in this position and in the Schubert this exact same position is where you have the mechanism to open and close the the sun visor so it's not really compatible and I thought maybe I'll take it off from this one and, and put it on that one but because it's not compatible um, I have in the meantime looked and I've realized that Sina now has uh, a couple of uh, um, devices that are made specifically for the helmets. They have one for GT Air, they have one for the Schubert C3 Pro, and it fits in completely inside the helmet. The batteries go on the back of the helmet, so there's nothing really outside. There's no buttons outside or anything like that. And I really like it because this is a little bit bulky. So I have ordered one of those specific for this helmet. And when I arrive, when it arrives, I will uh, install it and film it and show it to you guys, uh, and probably make a review after that. So, uh, and of course, I still need to put on my uh, GoPro uh, sticker on this other side, like I have on the show right here, so I can film the trip. Um, so there's a couple of things I'll be doing to this helmet, but that's that's pretty much it. But so far, I really like it. I mean, it feels comfortable. There's a lot of space on the ears. And that's one of the problems with this helmet is the space around the ears. Maybe I have big ears, I don't know. But um, um, especially with the speakers installed, 
uh, the ears always touch the helmet and that hurts after some time. So this one has a lot of room there. So I hope it's really comfortable in that respect. And, um, and I'm looking forward to use it. I will still keep the Shoei as a daily helmet um, because I just believe that uh, full face helmets are safer than the flip ups. But you know, when you're riding in Scotland in the Highlands with no traffic and things like that, um, I guess a flip up helmet is good enough. I mean, they pass all the all the um, certifications and all the safety tests with uh, with colors, with flying colors. So I'm I'm sure they're not unsafe. I just don't like them. And I see a lot of people riding with the flip, with the front flip open, and I really don't understand that. The other day I was riding. Um, and I saw this guy with this yellow uh, fluorescent helmet, you know, that's now very fashionable because people will see you and it will be very safe, um, which I think it's just stupid. People don't see you no matter the colors you, you wear. And if you think they do, then you're halfway to get yourself in an accident. So I don't think people will see you more just because of that helmet. And if you're riding with a highly visibility, high visibility helmet, with the flip up open, that's just telling me you're stupid because you might crash on your own. You might hit a patch of oil or sand or something like that. You crash and your helmet is open and you will screw up your face. And then uh, people will ask, well, but didn't your high visibility helmet save you? No, it didn't because it's open. So before doing all this fashionable stuff like wearing a high visibility helmet, think a little bit about what you're doing. You're riding with a, without a helmet on your face and that's just you know that's just stupid in my in my book so why are you even going to bother about having a high visibility helmet if uh, if you're not protecting yourself so um, so yeah so that's my little rant on uh, flip up helmet I will definitely not ride with it open I don't like the feeling um, I would feel very unsafe it would be I would compare it a little bit like uh, driving a car without a seat belt I just cannot do it um and and but beyond that i i think it will be a great helmet and a, a good addition to the collection i will eventually bring this other one uh, to portugal where i have my fjr at the moment because the one i have there is pretty old it's i think six or seven years old now so it, it needs to be replaced so i'll keep this full face helmet there and i will wear the flip up for the trip and then we'll see uh, we'll see how it goes with the helmets um, so that's my uh, piece of news and it's definitely not a, something that you need to do when you're traveling in high distance, a long distance, but, um, but I think it will help a lot in the end. So uh, I thought I'd share it with you. So thanks for watching and uh, remember to subscribe. There's more videos and more news coming as I prepare uh, for the trip and I will be filming the trip itself. I've decided in the meantime that I'm going to do uh, kind of a diary view, video at the end of the day. So at the end of every day, I will record what happened in that day and uh, what I saw, what, what was cool, what's not. And I'll uh, try to upload it to YouTube as quickly as I can. Um, I think I'll have Wi-Fi in every place that I'm stopping, so that should be uh, doable. And uh, then you guys can uh, watch me go through the journey in real time and then uh, when I'm back I will edit some nice videos of, of that trip if all goes well. So thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next video. Bye!